Hello there. Welcome to today's discussion. Today, we're going to be discussing a common household hazard, one that affects millions of people around the world, but one that is commonly misunderstood. Today, we're going to be talking about radon. Radon? What in the world is radon? Radon is a radioactive gas commonly found in many households. But many homeowners don't realize that they may be at risk. Despite this lack of awareness, the hazards of radon are very real, and in some cases can be deadly. Hazardous gases in my house? If I, there were hazardous gases in my house, I'd know about it. No, no, that's not really how radon manifests itself. You see, radon is a colorless gas. It is odorless, tasteless, and invisible. In fact, there's radon in this very room right now. And odds are good there's some in your home as well. The only way to know for sure is to use special test equipment, like a radon test kit, which is easily available at a typical department store or hardware store. Let's take a look at one such kit. This particular kit consists of two small canisters. The way it works is you place each canister in a basement or first floor room, remove the caps, and leave them there for the time specified in the kit directions. After the required time, you simply reseal the canisters and send them to a laboratory for analysis, along with a small processing fee. Be sure to include all of the appropriate paperwork that describes how long the canisters were exposed. You should get the results back from the laboratory within just a few days, and the results will clearly state whether you have radon levels of concern in your home. I did that test. It said the levels in my house were twice what they're supposed to be. How did it get in my house anyway? No, that's not how radon gets into your home. Let's take a look at the actual process. The process starts with uranium atoms in the soil and rocks beneath your house. Those uranium atoms have been around for millions of years. They are actually unstable and will eventually decay into other atoms. The daughter atoms, produced from the radioactive decay, are also unstable but they decay much more quickly than the original uranium. The decay chain continues until radon atoms are produced. What makes radon special is that unlike the parent atoms in the chain, which are all solids at room temperature, radon is a gas. As such, it can easily seep through the rocks and soil and even through the concrete foundation of your house. Once it makes its way into your home, it can start to accumulate. Why should I even care about radon? If I can't see it, smell it, or taste it, how can it hurt me? Because radon is a gas, it can enter your lungs when you breathe. Once there, it will either be exhaled as you continue to breathe, or it could undergo a radioactive decay and become an unstable particulate daughter essentially a radioactive dust particle, if you will. This particle will remain in your lungs, and it will continue to undergo a series of radioactive decays. With every decay, radiation will be released, causing damage to your lung tissues. 
and the more cumulative damage that you receive to your lungs, the more likely you are to experience a serious health effect, perhaps even cancer. I am an alpha particle, a heavy charged particle that is not dangerous unless inhaled. When inhaled, I become a wrecking ball of destruction. My kung fu is strong. Ha 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 ha. I am a lung. I am soft, fragile tissue. I have lots of nooks and crannies where small particles can be trapped. I don't know what kung fu is. I will destroy you. I am pink. Ha ha! Victory is mine! Oh my goodness! Well, I'm not gonna let Radon hurt me. Whoa, calm down. That won't be necessary. The good news is that radon can be safely and effectively remediated. Let's take a look at the major components of a typical radon mitigation system. A typical radon mitigation system starts with a hole drilled into the foundation of the house. A small amount of soil is removed through the hole to create a small void space. Piping is then run down through the hole. A ventilation fan is installed to create a vacuum on the void space below the foundation and by extension through the entire soil space immediately below the house. This vacuum will draw the radon gas out of the soil and exhaust it up through the roof or out through an external wall where it will be harmlessly dissipated into the atmosphere. Today, we've reviewed the fundamental principles of radon hazards and how to mitigate them. Don't ignore the threat. Take action. Protect yourself and your family.